What's up, everybody? Welcome back. Uh, happy Tuesday to every single one of you guys out there. Uh, thank you for joining in. My name is Narbe, and um, welcome to Workouts by Narb. Uh, today, we got a really fun one planned for you guys. It's going to combine cardio. It's going to combine dumbbells. Okay, so we're going to have a lot of punching. All right, if you have dumbbells at home, go ahead and grab those. You want to go really light with your dumbbells, okay? So I'm going to be using three-pound dumbbells and five-pound dumbbells. Uh, so I would not go, I would probably wouldn't go any heavier than that. If you're feeling really brave and you want to go to eight pounds, that's fine, but you might burn out a little bit. Another thing you can always use are food cans and water bottles. Actually, for today's workout, they might work even better than ever uh, because you want them relatively light so that you guys could throw those arms and pull them back with those punches. So if you guys Get a chance. Uh, if you don't, uh, if you don't have them, go ahead and quickly grab some water bottles that you can use or food cans. And if not, if you guys have your dumbbells, if you have your heavier dumbbells, go ahead and downgrade them to the lighter ones if you have those, so that we can get going here. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to combine that. We're going to call it a cardio, cardio dumbbell plus core. So the cardio dumbbell is going to be a lot of punching, all right, and then the core uh, is kind of speaks for itself. But there's going to be a ton of ab work. Uh, as we go through today. So I'm going to give everybody about 30 seconds here to get set up and uh, we'll get rolling in a second. What's up, everybody? Missing Olga. Yeah, Olga's, Olga's not tuning in live, but I know that she's going to be uh, she's going to be here um, checking it out afterwards, maybe tomorrow morning. So uh, happy Tuesday, Narp. Thank you, Nisa. Ken, what's up? Matt, uh, let's get it going. Here we go, everybody. Varjan, welcome back. Hi, Karamanian. I'm guessing that's either Anthony or Hermines. So welcome, you guys. Let's get a good one today. Paulette, welcome back. Cesara, let's get it. Here we go, you guys. All right. Uh, hi, Joyce. All right. So uh, we are going to get started here. Simple, uh, kind of, uh, we're going to stay with our regular warm up. I'm going to just go ahead and Tip my screen a little bit higher here. All right. I think we should be good here. All right, regular warm up here. We're going to add a couple different movements to the warm up and then we'll get right into it. Uh, you guys can go ahead and start your watches if you're going for a calorie goal here. And then let me know where you guys are at towards the end. Okay, here we go. Let's jog it out, you guys. Lift those arms, pump those feet. And vice versa. Keep that going. If you got your own music, go ahead and put it on. Jam out to it. You might want to put on the Rocky theme song today. That way you can get inspired with your punching. Keep that going. Now swim those arms forward as you guys jog. Rotating out through that rotator cuff, warming up the shoulders. Good, now take it back, take it back. A little multitasking here. If at any point when you're punching, you feel like it's a little bit too much for you, what I would do is if you can't go down in weight, right, or you can't go less with your weight, then go ahead and just do it without the weight and just kind of clench a fist as you punch, and that should get you working just as well. Arms come across here. Keep that going, you guys. Alternate the arm that's on top. Excellent, now bring it here, bend the knees. I want you guys to just circle out those arms. So keep it here. Notice I'm bending at my elbows and I'm just rotating forward, warming up my lat muscles, warming up my back, of course, warming up my shoulders. Now do it backwards without shaking your butt too much, but stay low. Come on. Keep that going. Excellent, you guys. Now, I just want you guys to get a little 
cross punch tap. So I'm gonna go across with my right hand. I'm gonna tap that right foot on the floor and then switch. So kind of keep that going here. Again, you can clench that fist. We're gonna have a lot of this today. Come on. Keep going. Now get a little bit lower. Dig into it, good. Notice I'm bringing my fists right next to my cheeks here as I punch it out. I'm staying super low with my legs. And keep that going, you guys. Excellent. All right, shake it out. Now, let's get everybody to bring it down to the floor here. Get your arms out to your sides, thumbs up facing upward here. I want you guys to pinch your back as if you have a pencil on your shoulder blades, keeping that chin a couple inches off the floor. And just kind of control, keeping those arms straight, driving up, warming up your back. Awesome. Now get those arms um, in a big wide position here, right? My bottom here. So keep the feet on the floor. Same thing here. Just warming up through that lower back region now. Couple more. And bring it in. Excellent. Everybody bring it here to all fours. Let's take a quick cat cow. Then we're going to get started here. So here, and go. Exhale, look down. Inhale, arch that back, look all the way up. Reverse round, press to the floor. Last one. Excellent. All right, you guys. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. You will get a lot warmer as we go through the war uh, as we go through the beginning portion of the uh, workout today. Again, reminder: if you need to downgrade on weights so that you can continue punching, I would highly recommend it. Um, you know, save your arms, save your shoulders. You will be sore tomorrow from all these punches. And again, you can always, always go without a weight, and it's just going to be you know almost as effective going with that too. That way you avoid any type of injury. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and start it off super light with my threes, and then I might move up, or I might just keep it at threes here. All right, so uh, first one we're gonna start with, I want you guys to do a jumping jack, okay, with your arms working together. So we're gonna do one lateral raise, one frontal raise. So the feet are actually gonna continue going, right, and then I'm gonna just work the arms. So they go shoulder height, and then eye level out in front. Again, if you need a modification, go ahead and tap here. All right. We can kind of consider this one part of our warm up. Three, two, one, and take it away here. 45 seconds on this one, you guys. I got my clock directly in front of me. So I'll count you guys down. Try to concentrate on keeping the arms very equal as they come up. Press the weights in front of you. And keep that going. Try not to arch your back. If your weight is too heavy, be careful here. Don't want to hurt yourself in the beginning here or at all. 15 seconds, you guys. Breathe. Notice I bring my weights together when I lift them up. And you can slow down if you like. Right? You can work here and here. Three, two, one. Excellent. First punch we're gonna do is gonna be our uppercut punch. So get nice and close to me, and I want you guys to come from underneath here, all right, driving that arm upward, tucking the elbow. Now I'm not a, you know, I'm not a fighter or I'm not a boxer, right? But we're just doing this for the cardio uh, element of it. So I want you guys to stay nice and tight with it, stay tucked, keep those weights next to your cheeks, and then drive it up, drive it up. Drive it up, okay? Uppercut here. All right, here we go. In three, in two, one, and take it away here. Let's go, you guys. We're going for 45 seconds. Everything in the beginning is gonna be 45 seconds here. So keep going. Let's drive those arms upward, 
If you're knocking somebody out, keep that going. Come on. Stay nice and tucked, nice and tight with your core as you drive upward. If you want to go faster, you're more than welcome to. Just be safe. Don't punch yourself in the chin. Keep that going. Then you can speed it up just like this if you like. Just make sure those weights are going back. Come on, three, two, one. Excellent, next one, cross punch, cross punch. So this is the one we did in the beginning, right? I want you guys to do this with a tap to start with here. So just come across, tap the same side leg in three, in two, one, and take it away, you guys. Remember, retract that arm right back to your body here. As you punch it out, pull it in right away. Keep the taps going. If you feel any discomfort, any pinching, I would get rid of the weights right away. And then just continue with the arms, with the legs. Now stay a little bit lower, you guys. Come on. I'm going low to high, low to high, low to high. Let's go. Work with me here. You got this. 10 seconds. Excellent. And shake it off. Now, take it right down into a seat here. All right. I'm going to call this one the Pilates pulse here. So a little Pilates movement here. What you're going to do is you're going to extend your legs, then you're going to hold your weights off to the side. And all you're going to do is you're going to lift and lower those weights. If that's too much for you, I would go modify one leg on the floor, extend the other leg, and then kind of lean it back to activate that core, and then just go ahead and pulse up and down. Okay, here we go, you guys. We're going to take this one for 30 seconds. Three, two, one, take it away. So both legs or single leg, your choice. I'm keeping the weights right next to my body, going up and down. Breathing, staying here with control. If this is too much on your lower back, bend one knee and keep that going. 10 seconds. Keep working. Three, two, one, and shake it off. Excellent. We're going to go again here. Opposite side. If you were going with one leg, make sure to switch for the rest of you guys one more round. This time I'm going to turn my weight to go up and down here. Three, two, one, and send it out. Here we go. So they're more like a hammer grip or a neutral grip. I'm looking at my toes, staying engaged with my core. Keep that going. Breathe, breathe, breathe. If you need a modification, drop one leg here. Work with that opposite leg. You gotta lean back enough so that you feel that core. Seven seconds, six, five, four, three, two, one. Excellent, you guys. All right, next one. Bring it up here. We're gonna go right back to that core. So our next punch is gonna be our hook punch. Okay, so we're coming off from the side, all right, keeping a nice bend in the elbow, extend and punch it directly back out here. And then opposite side, opposite side. With this one, you got to have good control, right? You don't want to go too quick so you don't injure that arm and you don't want to extend too far out so that that lever is not weighted down too much. So you want to stay tucked, you want to stay tight. And to be safe, you can hook it very close to your, to your body. And again, you want to go light with this and slow it down. Here we go. Three, two, one. 45 seconds, you guys. Take it away. Here we go. Come across, good. Pretend like you're knocking someone in the rib cage here. So you're going nice and low with it now. And then you can bring it up a tiny bit. Getting the side bodies working here. Keep a nice tight grip on those weights. If you're feeling like you're gonna hurt yourself, again, you wanna tighten that core, you wanna dig into the legs a little bit more. Breathe and attack and attack. 
three, two, one. Excellent. Our next one's going to be our jab punch, you guys. Jab punch. So we're going to combine all these towards the end here. But next one, all we're going to do here, I'm going to back up my weights and I'm going to move forward here. So I'm going to turn my body sideways. Whichever leg I have forward, that's going to be my jab arm. Okay. So I kind of want to step and punch, but I'm going to stay stationary just because our workout is stationary here. So kind of stay grounded here. Keep the opposite weight nice and close to your cheek and then attack that arm. Notice I twist it out and I retract right back in towards my body. Here we go. Three, two, one, 30 seconds each arm. Come on. And you can kind of mix in a couple combinations with that same arm, okay? So you can go one or you can go one, two. You can even go one, two, three and pull it back. Notice I'm staying nice and light with my feet. I got this little bounce going on and I'm just gonna work that jab, making sure I'm keeping my weight nice and high. Come on, attack it, attack it. Good, now switch, opposite side. Here we go, jab with the opposite leg and, sorry, jab with the opposite arm and step with the opposite leg. Three, two, one, and take it away. Come on. It is the same side leg. I just mean go ahead and switch if you didn't switch. Come on, twist that weight, pull it right back in. Twist and pull it back. This is when you realize if your weights are a little bit too heavy. Keep that going, keep it going. Come on, attack it quick, and then pull yourself back. Attack and pull yourself back. Come on, keep going. Three, two, one, and shake it out. Good, bring it right back down to the floor here. I'm gonna switch to my five pound weights now, all right? And what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna hold on to my weights and I'm just gonna do a regular crunch. So I wanna start with my weights at 90 degrees, right at the elbows. I'm gonna take it back and then I'm just gonna pull myself up so that my weights are parallel with my shins, right? And my arms are kind of squeezing the outsides of my legs. Just a regular crunch here. All right, let's take it away. 45 seconds, three, two, one, and take it away. Notice I'm not taking my weights all the way back. I just kind of pull them back to where they get in line with my shoulders, and then I lift myself back up. I'm keeping my chin high. If this hurts your back, of course you can bring your feet down to the floor and just kind of work a regular crunch. If you need some neck support or head support, then go ahead and drop the weights. Support your head, but remember don't pull or yank on your neck. Keep working, you guys, 10 seconds here. Keep your chin high, lift up with your body, really emphasizing the squeeze at the peak. And shake it out. Excellent. How are we doing? It's only gonna get more challenging. Just kind of building up momentum going into it today. All right, so. I'm gonna get one more round of that previous one here. So let's go for another 45. Again, the goal is to squeeze at the peak when you're here, right? So you don't wanna necessarily take your weights up if your body is not coming up. So you wanna move as, as a whole. In reality, you don't really wanna move the arms at all, right? So you kinda of wanna establish this angle here, maybe a 90 degree, maybe a tiny bit less than 90 degrees, but you want to maintain, right, that angle as you guys work, okay? Here we go. Let's go one more round and stay with my fives. In three, two, one, and take it away, you guys. Again, you want to make sure you're keeping your chin away from your chest, right, as you guys pulse up. And you can always slow it down if you want to go slow. Go at your own tempo. Make sure you're breathing here as you lift up. You want to feel that squeeze. I definitely do. Even with these five pound weights, they're going to kick my butt today. 10 seconds. Focus on your breathing. Keep your gaze high. and shake it out. Excellent, you guys. All right, 
Let's bring it back up here. So the next thing we're going to do here is we're going to do a versicline with our shoulders, okay? So um, what that is, is we're going to start here, okay? And all we're going to do is we're just going to climb here and here, here and here. So um, one thing to keep in mind is you want to make sure the weights are very parallel to each other, right? As one goes up, the other one goes down, and then they switch and switch, okay? So here we go. Let's work those shoulders out in five, four, three, two, one. Take it away, you guys. Two rounds of 30 seconds on these ones. Come on. Notice I'm staying nice and low with my knees, right? I'm not standing all the way up. I'm making sure my elbows are coming down directly be underneath that weight where they're staying there. And I'm just working my arms down and pressing right back up. 10 more seconds, relax your neck, come on. Work it out. You got this. Five, four, three, two, one, and shake it out. One round done. Let's go again. Here we go, in three, two, one, take it away. 30 seconds, climb it out. Drive, 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 all the way up to the top. Breathe, you guys. 15 seconds. Keep your core tight. If you're arching your lower back, chances are the weight's too heavy. Come on. Five, four, three, two, and one. Excellent. Now, next one we're gonna do here, I'm gonna go ahead and switch, give my arms a little bit of a break, all right? We're gonna do this big star jack, or I guess kind of looks like a snow angel here, right? But a standing snow angel, right? We're gonna start it here, circle it all the way up, and then control as you bring it down. You got a semi squat going on. I'm going a lot wider with my stance. Okay, to protect my back, I don't want to be too close here. So open up that stance. If you want to angle your feet out a little bit, you're more than welcome to. All right, but start down here. Arms are extended. The arms never bend as they tap, and then they lower directly in front of your knees. All right, here we go. 30, you know what? This one's 45 seconds. Sorry. Three, two, one. Take it away. Control. Breathe up and control it back down. You want to put the pressure in the heels, right? Really engaging those inner thigh muscles. Circle it out to the top with a big exhale and then inhale it down. Keep that going. Control the weights. Don't let them just fall down. Control them off to the sides. Tap and then lift right back up. Control. Tap. Ten seconds, you guys. You got this. Come on. Three, two, one, and shake it out. Good. All right. Um, let's go one more movement standing, and then we'll take it right back down to the floor for some more core work. All right. So this one is going to be a bent over jack. All right. So I want you guys to maintain this position here, right? Tip at the waist, soften the knees, lengthen your back, bring your arms in. One of my favorite movements. You guys have seen me do this one before. So we're going to go out to the side as our feet open up, right? I'm going to go here so you guys can see me. So we'll be here and then right back in, here, right back in, all right? You can always tap and actually, you know what? Let's get everybody to tap instead of jumping here. Let's go ahead and tap so that you guys can concentrate on your form. Here we go. We're going for 45 seconds. Three, two, one, take it away. So here, back, here, back. Try to bring the elbows together. Try to bring the wrists together. Notice the, the position that I'm starting in is the same position that I finish. Breathe, core tight. Stay engaged. Come on. You got this, you guys. Tap with control. You're focusing on your arms, but you're also focusing on staying tight with your body, staying low with the legs. Keep working. Three, two, one, and shake it out. 45 seconds. Excellent, you guys. 
bring it down to the floor here. All right, now, next one we're gonna do, all right, it's called the one, two, three, four, five climb, all right, and all you're gonna do, you're gonna have your feet down, all right, if I'm working with my weights, it's gonna look like this, watch. So for some of you guys, this might be easy, for the rest of you, might be the more, the most challenging thing you did today. So you guys are gonna lift, punch, when with every punch, your body is gonna lift up a little bit higher. So it kind of looks like this, watch this. So it goes five punches, one, two, three, four, five. And then right back down, all the way down. So one, two, three, four, five. And it doesn't really matter at which point you do those punches, but you are trying to progress your way forward as you guys go into it. So again, here we go. So it's one, two, three, four, five. And then roll it down. If this is too much, I would just concentrate on one, two, three, back down. One, two, three, back down. All right, let's take this away. 45 seconds, three, two, one, and go. One, two, three, four, five. Pull it down. One, two, three, four, five. The hardest part is to keep those feet down. One, two, three, four, five. Hold it down. One, two, three, four, five. Bring it back. One, two, three, four, five. Now try to alternate the arm that you start with. Three, four, five. Hold it back. One, two, three, four, five. Bring it back. One, two, three, four, five. Work it back. Press those heels down, you guys. Come on. You got this. Punch, 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 punch. Work it back. One, two, three, four, five, and rest. Now, everybody, go ahead and take your weight or your weights and place it right at your ankles and hold. Now, um, you got to make sure you're squeezing your knees together, right, so that weight's not moving. And then I want you guys to just go ahead and lift those arms and hold. If that's impossible to do, right, or it doesn't make sense, you guys are welcome to just hold the weight up here. Three. Two, one, 45 second hold here. Notice I got my knees directly on top of my hips. I got my shoulders off the floor. My core is nice and tight. I can feel it in my abs, and then I can lift my arms to add to the burn here. Or you can support your head. Focus on your breathing. Stay engaged. Stay working. You guys got this. Only 15 seconds left. Breathe in through your nose, out through your mouth. Hold it here. Come on. Lift up a little bit higher. Five, four, three, two, and one. Excellent, you guys. I'm gonna go ahead and move my weight. All right. Okay, next one is a butterfly punch. So I'm gonna bring my feet together just like this. Right? And all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna extend my arms directly above me. So create that little butterfly by bringing the soles of the shoes together. Lift your arms up. And all I want you guys to do is keep the arms extended. You're gonna retract the shoulders and then lift up. Retract the shoulders, lift up. So you don't even actually need to bend the elbows at all. I want you guys to stay high up, get the shoulders off the floor, and then pull yourself back down to the floor. 45 seconds in three, two, one, and take it away. Go. And back. You want to maximize the lift with the shoulders, but you also want to maintain the length in the arms. Taking any tension out of your traps or your neck region. As you lift yourself up, again, if your neck is hurting here, you guys are welcome to let go of the weights, well, put them down, don't let go of them in this position. Um, but then go ahead and support your head once your weights are down on the floor. Keep it going. And rest. Excellent, you guys. All right, so we'll come back to those movements then. All right, so let's get everybody up here. Take a little sip of water. Now we're gonna start combining some of our punch combinations, okay? 
and then we'll jump right into the cardio. Uh, I'm sorry, right into the core stuff right away. Teaching us some self-defense. That's right. I do what I can. I don't know about self-defense, but don't beat up anybody and blame it on me. All right. Michael and Sorel, what's up, you guys? Welcome back. Sorel, I saw you working out uh, the other day. I think it was yesterday. So awesome job. Yeah, we're on literally Monday through Friday at 5 p.m. So anytime you guys could join, jump on. But if you ever miss it, you know, we have these classes saved. So um, you can always go back and check it out. And we'll always try to mix it up, give you guys some new content. Uh, like today, we're punching it out. I don't think we've punched this much before. So um, let's keep it going, you guys. Here we go. All right. So you got your you got your weights. Again, you can always do this um, with just your punches as well. So what I want you guys to do is we're going to do four cross punches into four uppercut punches. All right. So four cross, four uppercut. We're going to take this away for a minute here. Here we go. Stay nice and low. Three, two, one, and take it away. This time you're not tapping with your legs, right? You're just coming up right away. Pop, 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 pop. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Keep it going, you guys. Extend those arms all the way. If you mess up your count, that's okay. Just get right back into it. Remember, your weight's got to stay nice and close. Keep your, keep your gloves up or keep your arms high. Extend through those lats as you guys work. You guys got this. Breathe, you guys, breathe, come on. Attack it, attack it, attack it, attack it. Breathe. 10 seconds, you guys. Come on, get those arms out quickly, quickly. Lift up those uppercuts, attack. And shake it out. Excellent. Now, we're gonna do two cross punches, okay? Two uppercut punches, right back to two cross punches and then two hook punches. So again, two cross, two upper, two cross, two hooks. And then right after those hooks, you go right back to those cross punches. So technically it's four cross punches, but we're dividing them up. All right, so here we go, follow me here. I'll go slow in the beginning. Third, uh, one minute here. Three, two, one, and take it away. So it's cross, cross, upper, upper, cross, cross, hook, hook, cross, cross, upper, upper, cross, cross, hook, hook. Now take it away. If you forget, that's okay. That's all right. Just get right back into it. Remind yourself the order and get right back into it. Cross, cross, upper, upper, cross, cross, hook, hook, cross, cross, upper, upper, cross, cross, hook, hook. Keep it going, you guys. Come on. Breathe, breathe. Up, up, cross, cross, hook, hook. Nice, shake it out. Woo! Hopefully those arms are burning just a little bit here. All right, now we're gonna take this next one. We're gonna introduce that jab, okay? So turn your body sideways, right? We got our arms up, guarding ourselves or defending ourselves, right? We're gonna go jab, jab, big right, jab, jab, big right. So we're exploding off that back hip. You guys might have done this one with me without the weights, but today we're incorporating the weights. So when you attack, watch this. When you go here, you don't want to step that foot forward. You want to keep it behind. You want to kind of explode off that hip by giving it this little, little action here off the hip, right? So we're going to go one, two, pop, right? So pivot off that hip. That's where your power is coming from, from that back leg, and then explode through your body all the way extended out. 30 seconds on each arm. Two jabs, one big, one big shot. Here we go. Three, two, one. Take it away. So jab, jab, big shot. Jab, jab, big shot. Pop, pop, attack it. Pop, pop, attack it. Come on, you guys. Breathe, breathe. Punch it out. 
breathe, breathe, punch it out. Breathe, breathe, punch it out. Tap that foot with your jab. Tap, tap, attack it. Tap, tap, attack it. Tap, tap, attack it. And shake it out. Good. Opposite direction. Here we go. I'm going to jab with my right. In three, two, one. Take it away. Two jabs, one big shot. Two jabs, one big shot. Notice I'm breathing with my jabs. I'm breathing with my big shot too. You gotta breathe and you gotta retract those arms right back to your body. Jab, jab, big shot. Jab, jab, big shot. Shake it out. Excellent, you guys. That's taking a lot of energy out of me. Hopefully you guys as well. Water bottles work perfect, that's right. Yeah, water bottles are great for this workout. You guys could have two of them. They weigh about a pound each if you got one of these 16 ounce bottles, right? So these work great. And then if they get too heavy, you can always drink your water and cheat the system. Let's take it right back down to our mat. So, we're gonna go ahead, hold it here. Okay, what we're doing, we're gonna hold our arms high. We're gonna extend our feet out. We're gonna pull them right back in. So you want your knees to basically tap your elbows. Okay, that's your starting point. And then you extend it out, and then pull it back in. If this is too much for you, one thing you can do is you can Drop a leg and then retract back, and that might be a little bit easier. But notice I'm keeping my shoulders off the floor here. We're going to take this away for a whole minute. Three, two, one. Extend high. Here we go. Attack it out. Control back. Tap and go. Again, if your back is hurting, please use that modification that I just showed you guys. Keep your chin high, retract. You're trying to get your body in a nice elongated position here before you retract back. And when you tap your knees on your elbows, you want to kind of do a little pulse squeeze, right? Or a nice little press into those elbows. Remind your elbows that they cannot bend the whole time. Remind your neck to stay neutral, which means look up, right? Don't pinch your chin forward. That creates a lot of tension in the neck region. We got a lot of micro muscles, a lot of nerves running down our necks, right? So we want to be nice and safe with it. Three, two, one, and rest. Excellent, you guys. So bring your head down to the floor. One of my favorite kind of uh, stretches or nice way to loosen up the neck region. Just bring your head down to the floor very slowly. Just kind of look over to your left shoulder, opening up that opposite side, and then switch it over. Excellent, you guys. Just kind of go back and forth here. Good. Now, you're going to extend your legs straight up to the sky here. All right. Um, if this is too much for you, you can always go here or you can bring it down to the floor. So it's your choice here. Um, what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna try to get my weight to my shoe, okay? And it's always more challenging when you're doing it with the legs up, but you guys can always go here and here. So you're basically lifting one shoulder higher than the other one, okay? And then pulling the opposite one down as you do so, okay? So I'm gonna show you guys all three versions here. We're gonna take this away for 30 seconds, two rounds, three, two, one, and take it away. So it's here and then here. Notice I'm not bending at the elbows. I'm keeping my arms fully extended here. Trying to flex my ankles here, keeping my knees super straight. Five, four, three, two, one and shake it out.
for me, that's the most challenging one. All right, so the next one, I'm gonna show you guys the modified, I'll do 15 seconds of each. Here we go, three, two, one, and take it away. Sometimes this one works a little bit better because you get to really ground that lumbar region or your lower back region down to the floor. 15 seconds, you guys. Three, two, one. Excellent. Stack your weights right on your ankles. I'm gonna go ahead and put both of these guys. Keep your knees together and hold. Stay here. One minute. Breathe. If it's too much on the neck, okay, you can bring your head down to the floor. Your lower abs will still remain engaged, but the upper will be resting a little bit more. If you want to work the upper, of course, you got to lift those shoulders off the floor and hold it and breathe and smile. Come on, you guys. You already know how it is. If you've been on this journey for the last 35 or 36 classes, you already know how it is. Come on, we gotta keep fighting. If you're new, welcome. Welcome to the welcome to the pain, but welcome to the results that you're gonna receive if you stay consistent. Some of you guys can vouch for that. I know some of you guys are seeing incredible results at home. For those of you guys that have been doing these workouts from the beginning, thank you so much for staying committed, for bringing on new folks, for spreading the word. I truly appreciate it. I feel like everybody needs this at a time like this. So stay consistent, keep working hard. The results are on the way. Three, two, one one and shake it off. Excellent, you guys. Bring it right back up. Whew. Okay, um, quick sip of water, and then we are gonna combine again with some of our movements here. All right, so everybody go ahead and grab a short little sip. You have liter water bottles, that's great. That, that will uh, definitely be a little bit more challenging because it's definitely more than a pound. Uh, reminder, if you guys are enjoying this video, uh, please give it a thumbs up um, on the video. I would really appreciate it. I know some of you guys watch it on your TV screens, so it's tough to comment and it's tough to click. I don't even know if it allows you to do it, um, but if it does, please go ahead and do that. Um, I definitely appreciate that. And if you ever go back and revisit these videos through your laptops or through your um, mobile devices, then um, you know, always feel free to comment and give it a like. It always helps me out. So let's keep it going, you guys. We're not done yet. Here we go. So I'm gonna go back to my weights, all right? Now, we're gonna combine just like how we did in the beginning, all right? But before we start combining, I want you guys to go back into those bent over jacks. So just a quick reminder, arms stay in, body stays long, tip at the waist, okay, soften the knees, and then lift here. And as you guys lift, you wanna make sure that you're lifting your wrists, your elbows, and your shoulders in the same plane, in the same line, all right? Here we go, three, two, one. Let's take it away, 30 seconds, you guys, go. If you're not jumping, you're tapping, okay? You got a choice this time. Take it away with whichever version you like. I'm gonna go with the hoppy one here. You gotta make sure to combine those elbows, combine those forearms, bring them in. Of course, don't smack your fingers here as you bring your weights in. And shake it off. Awesome, all right, here we go. So, a little combination here. I'm going to go ahead and turn my neck out of the way so that I can punch towards you guys this time. All right, hopefully that works. Okay, so 
what I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to move a tiny bit, all right? What I'm going to do is I'm going to move forward, jab, jab, okay? And then I'm going to go big shot, right? I'm going to pull myself back right away. And on the next one, I'm going to go jab, big shot, okay? I'm going to pull myself back again. So the first one is two jabs, big shot. I'm going to retract right back. And then one jab, big shot right away, pull yourself back, okay? And we'll hit both sides on this one. Here we go, three, two, one, take it away. So it's pop, pop, big, work yourself back. Then one, big, work yourself back. Separate away, get yourself away. Here we go, one, two, big shot, work it back. Now one, big shot, right away. You almost want your opponent to not expect it, okay? Here we go, one, two, pop, work it back, one, pop. Work it back, one, two, pop, work it back, one, pop, work it back. There you go. Stay light with your feet, keep moving, keep moving. It's okay if you don't go right away. Pop, pop. You wanna put your max effort in each punch. Come on, so if you're not ready to punch, just kind of bounce around like me here, and then go. One, two, big punch, get back, one, punch, get back. There you go, one more round, come on. Here we go, pop, pop. And work it back. Excellent, you guys. Now switch. Opposite side. We've got two sides to this puzzle. Come on. Here we go. Arms stay high. Remember, jab, step forward with it as you go. Two times, one big one. Single jab, one big one. Here we go. Three, two, one. Take it away. Pop, pop, big shot. Work it back. Pop, pop. Work it back. One, two, one. Work it back. One, one. Work it back. Excellent. Keep working, keep working, stay light. Stay light with those feet, pop, pop. Notice how quickly I get my weights directly back to me. Come on, keep working, keep moving. Keep moving, good, good, good. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Pop, pop, one, work it back, one, one. Work it back again, pop, pop, one. Work it back, one, one. Work it back again, pop, pop, one. Work it back, one, one. Work it back, one last one. Here we go, give me the best one you got. Knock them out. You got this. Here we go. Three, two, one. Take it away. Pop, pop, one. Work it back. Pop, pop. And shake it out. Excellent. Woo! We're really burning up. You guys are going to feel your lats from all this punching tomorrow. Okay? Maybe not tomorrow. Maybe the next day. I get sore the second day. So I know I'm going to feel it for sure. All right, so bring it back here into the stance, all right? So what I want you guys to do is I want you guys to work a hook, a hook. Then you're gonna pivot your foot forward, jab, jab. You're gonna pivot your foot back, cross, cross. Okay, so one more time, let's talk that one through. So it's gonna be right hook, left hook. I'm gonna pivot my left foot forward and I'm gonna go jab, jab with my left hand. I'm gonna work that leg back, and I'm gonna go cross, cross, okay? So it takes a little bit of thinking here, a little bit of coordination, but the best way to remember it is once you do the second hook, right, that arm needs to stay forward. So that leg is gonna move forward to the jab, and then once you pull yourself back, pop, pop, all right? Here we go, three, two, one, take it away. So it's one, two, pop, pop, one, two. Does that make sense? Here we go. Pop, pop. One, two. Pop, pop. Stay nice and tough, nice and tight with your core. Excellent. Keep it going, you guys. Hook, hook, pivot, pop, pop. One, two. Good. Keep those weights high. If you can, if you got it and you're comfortable with it, all right, take it away. I'm going to just slow it down. So anybody that's really confused here can really adjust and get it right. One, two. Stay low, stay low, keep working. Keep bouncing, stay light with those feet. Here, here, pop, pop. One, two. Good, guys, good job. One more time, let's go. Take it away here. Hook, hook, jab, jab, cross, cross. Excellent, good. Now opposite side, here we go. Opposite side, think about what you gotta do here, right? Left hook, right hook, pivot, jab, jab with the right hand. Pull it back, left, right. Okay, here we go, three, two, one. Take it away. Pop, pop, 
One, two. Keep going, you guys. Stay low, think about it. If you need to break, break here, but keep moving, okay? Keep moving, here we go. Pop, pop, one, two, cross, cross. If you guys notice, I don't go until I can maximize my energy on those punches, okay? So you want to get the most out of it. Here we go. Keep it going, you guys. Pop, pop, one, two, one, two. Let's go. Pop, pop, one, two, one, two. Good. Pop, pop, one, two, one, two. One more time. Come on. Stay with me here. Hook, hook, jab, jab, cross, cross. Excellent. Woo! How we doing, you guys? How we doing? Take a little sip of water. <laughs> yeah, it takes a lot of coordination. Thank you, Fedora. Keep punching it out. Thanks, Cesara. Keep working. All right. Now, let's take it down to the mat. Let's get everybody to drop it down here to the floor. All right. So, first thing I want you guys to do, hug your knees in towards your chest. We're going to do one more nice ab set here, and then we will start winding it down. Excellent. Okay. So, our final ab set, here's what I want you guys to do. You guys are going to start here, all right, and I want you to extend one leg as you hook the elbow to the opposite side, okay? And when I say opposite side, not only the inner thigh, but the outer thigh, if you can, all right? So this is going to be pretty damn challenging. If you need a modification, instead of floating this leg, bring it down to the floor and then see if you can hook. And if you need a super modification, then instead of extending that leg, bring it down to the floor, hook here, then you're going to hook here, okay? So that will kind of be your modification. But again, I'm not going to the inside. I'm going to the outside of my leg with my opposite elbow. All right, here we go. We're going to go 20 times here. Three, two, one, and take it away. So here, bring it back. Now switch. Now extend. Okay? And notice my opposite elbow touches the floor here. I'm going to bring my leg back. I'm going to switch it first. Then I'm going to extend my leg. Okay? So you don't want to switch too early because it makes it a lot easier. We'll count that as five here. Come on. Six. Notice how high up my opposite shoulder is because I'm on the opposite side. Keep working. Here's eight, you guys. Here's nine. Extend all the way out. Halfway there. Bring it across. Reach. Pull it across again. Reach. You got this. Let's go five good ones here. Five good ones. Come on. Breathe. Five. Come on. Here's four. Here's three. Here's two. Last one. And hug those knees in towards your chest. Excellent. Everybody go ahead and just bike. You can bike high to protect your back or you can bike a little bit further out to challenge yourself a little more. We're going for a minute and then we're done. Come on, crank it up. If you want to get those arms working up and down with your legs, okay, to add a little cardio in here, go ahead and do so. You can even twist your palms all the way so that they face you and then they face out and just switch them as you go. Keep that going, you guys. 30 seconds left. Look up. Extend those legs out. Come on, no cockroach feet. Don't look like a dead cockroach here. I don't want to see any of this. Okay, 
Extend it out. Get there. You guys got this. Come on. Work those arms. 10 seconds. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Bring your heels down to the floor. Let your knees rock side to side. You guys have made it. Now bring your heels back to the ground and then work that neck exercise that I gave you guys. Go very slow. You know how I always say your knees are expensive, right? Go ahead and if you were to put a value on it, Right, on the knees, I would say your neck is probably a hundred times more expensive because everything runs through that neck. So you want to make sure that you're safe with it, right? You're always very lightly stretching it out. Okay, you're not you're not doing any quick movements, any quick jerks through the neck, right? You don't you never want to hurt that, and um, you want to make sure that you're safe with it. Like I said, all your nerve endings, everything, kind of all your major, uh, you know, signals from your brain go down your neck, right, through your back, through your spine. So you guys want to make sure that you're taking care of that. That is the number one most important thing. I laughed so hard. <laughs> you caught me on the cockroach. That's right. I know there are a lot of cockroaches out there. So um, work on extending those legs out. You guys, let's stretch it out. That was amazing. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, we got a little bit of a little fighting technique down, I guess, with today's workout. Um, so let's get, let's, let's do this. So I want you guys to open up your feet, take your opposite arm to the other side of your ankle, okay? Then I want you guys to just see if you can not only pivot your body, but kind of corkscrew your body. And at the same time, you want to lengthen out your lat muscle here, okay? That's where we're, we're going to feel it tomorrow with all that punching. So just kind of lean into it and find a position, right, that really opens up the back of your shoulders. Of course, you got a little bit of lower back rotation here. And then go ahead and switch when you're ready, opposite side. So basically, I'm going to my right side with my left hand but I'm, I'm leaning back into my left side. So I'm leaning back this direction. Excellent. Another good one you guys could always do is kind of bring your arm across and then reach, right? Reach the other arm underneath and away. And then you're gonna really feel that too. So basically, Bring, so I'm gonna take my left arm, I'm gonna bring it across my face, right? In line with this shoulder, coming across, and then I'm gonna reach this guy low, right? Of course, if you had somebody to assist you or to grab your arm here and to pull it away, you might get a little bit more out of it, or you could hold on to something here with this arm, right? And then extend and have somebody pull here, and then that's when you're gonna maximize that lap extension, Okay, go ahead and do the opposite side here. Bring it across your body. Reach that arm down and low. So they're kind of pulling away from each other, right? This guy's pulling that direction. This guy's pulling up and out. That should provide a nice stretch for you. Everybody go ahead and roll your shoulders back. All right, um, let's go ahead and send it back here. All right, big lunge back with your right leg. Reach your right hand up to the sky. Hold on to that right wrist. Get in that lunge, okay? So bring that knee down. And then I want you guys to open up here through that hip complex. Feel that pull. Slowly go ahead and bring it back. Switch here. Left hand goes up, left leg goes back. 
hold on to that wrist, pull it over to the right side, maybe peek underneath that arm, opening up to the sky. And bring it back. All right, shake out those legs, you guys. Let's go for a nice tricep stretch. And switch. And bring it back. Bring your hands on your hips here. Rotate your head very slowly. Bring it back over here. Look over your left shoulder. Look over your right shoulder. Look all the way up. Look all the way down. Awesome, you guys. Last thing, bring your palms together, roll out your wrists. Since I spoke so much about the neck today, or I mentioned it a couple times, I guess I'll have to mention my cousin Armen Manucharian, who is a neck specialist uh, with uh, his chiropractic care. So he's fantastic. If anybody ever needs anything locally in Glendale um, or in this area, uh, go ahead and check him out. Um, he is the guy to go to. So um, with that being said, um, we're going to wrap it up. Thank you guys so much for joining in. Uh, I'm ready to fight Conor McGregor. I don't know. I don't know about that yet, Ara. Uh, maybe we might need to get a couple more sessions in first before we, we explore that. But uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed these punches. If you're a little bit sore tomorrow in different areas, that's normal. That's common. Okay. Uh, you might feel it a little bit. Um, again, in the lat region, if you feel it in the lower back, that's also common. Okay. We have a lot of, you know, twisting and, you know, exploding coming out from that lower lumbar region. Um, if you feel it in your neck region, that's also common because what we tend to do is we tend to tense up here, right? Lifting those lats and really compressing or tightening, recruiting from those neck muscles. So, um, I want you guys to just work on just staying loose, keep moving, stay active, all right? Um, props to everybody that joined in here. <laughs> Nate Diaz, uh, yeah, Will's a Nate Diaz fan, looks like it. Um, oh, or actually, no, maybe he wants to fight him, I don't know. Um, but you guys, before we get into those intense UFC fighters, uh, let's just make sure we stay in shape here. Uh, Alice, what's up? Thank you for joining on. Who else we got here? Joined on late. Again, Sorel and Michael. Um, thanks, guys, for joining on. Say hi to your pops, Mike. And, yeah, we'll wind it down. I look forward to seeing you guys tomorrow. We got another good one coming up tomorrow, so get ready. And um, I guess I'll tell you guys what I burned. I'm at exactly 800 calories. So um, it was a pretty high calorie burner in 60 minutes. Um, as we had those arms going again, like this video, share this video. And, um, I look forward to seeing you guys tomorrow. Thank you guys. Have a good one. Bam.